Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Rachel, your coach with New Leaf Wellness and Nutrition, and I am so excited to be with you today, as always, uh, because I love hanging out with you and sharing with you. Um, today, I want to talk a little bit about coming back to or starting a movement routine, if that's something that you haven't been doing for a while, or if it's something you've never really done, um, it can feel a little intimidating. Um, how do I know what I want to do? Um, for those of us who have been so immersed in diet and wellness culture, there's a lot of, you know, do this to burn this many calories, or if you eat this, then do this to burn it off, and um, and all of that kind of nonsense that just really makes moving your body, the thing that you want to do, the thing that you were made to do uh, into this chore or uh, this, you know, weight loss tool, which none of that is what we want, right? We just want to move our bodies because our bodies were built to move. And the more we do that, the more all of our processes, processes, the more all of the functions of our body uh, work at their best. And so if you are in that place and you know, you know, I'd really love to start a movement practice, but I, I don't even know where to start. Um, maybe you tried something in the past that you didn't enjoy. Um, maybe you went to the gym and you didn't love it. Or maybe, you know, you tried walking and that was nice, but you kind of fell out of the habit, all of that kind of stuff. And you want something that you know you're going to love, that you know you're going to just be excited to do, um, you know, and, and get out there and have fun. Um, or get in your living room and have fun, however, whatever you want to do. Um, and so um, I have a few tips for you, if that's kind of where you're at, where you're at right now. Um, so first of all, I want you to give yourself the permission that you need to take all the time you need. You don't have to figure this out right out of the gate. You don't have to start something and stick with it. Um, you know, you're, you're not a, you know, eight year old who signed up for soccer and now you don't like it, but your mom is going to make you do it all anyway, because you already signed up and paid for it. Um, you're an adult. So if you don't like something, you don't have to do it. And, uh, you know, and, and you can trust yourself that if it's something where, mm, you know what, I might like it if I stuck with it, you'll stick with it. You know, you can trust yourself. It's okay. But give yourself permission to take some time to figure out what you love, especially if it's been a long time since you've done anything. Um, you know, like maybe gym class in high school was the last time you really did anything. Or, you know, maybe you used to do, you know, running or hiking, but you had an injury and then you kind of just stopped doing it. So what you need to do, first of all, is... Give yourself, give yourself that permission and then like, just try a bunch of stuff. Honestly, um, you know, we live in a miraculous time. So one of the first things you can do is look for some online classes for something that's intrigued you. Maybe you'd like to take an online, uh, you know, yoga or Tai Chi class, um, or look for some workout videos on YouTube or in some instructions on how to do something that you've kind of wanted to look into. Uh, there's a ton of stuff out there. Um, and you know, you can just try one class, try, a, you know, watch a video, see what you might like. Um, another thing you can do is take yourself out to a basketball court or a pickleball court and, um, and just, take a look and see if that looks like fun. You know, watch the people, how they do it. If they're having a good time, you might have a good time too. People these days, they love the pickleball. Go figure. I mean, it seems fun. There are pickleball courts near us and everybody is always having a good time. Um, and then the last thing is uh, maybe you have a friend uh, or uh, like a sibling who has a movement practice they love. Maybe they swear by Pilates or maybe uh, they're runners or, you know, maybe they're on a softball team. Um, go with them and do what they do and see if that might be fun for you too, um, which then could also be something you two could do together. Um, and that might be nice. So just go out and try some things. Um, go see what might fit. And like I said, you don't have to keep with it. If it's something you don't like, you can just try something else. Uh, so I hope that is helpful in thinking about how to get past that uh, intimidation factor of finding something that's for you. All right. Um, 
I'm going to leave it there. Uh, as always, come find me on uh, social media. I am at New Leaf Wellness and Nutrition everywhere. And uh, also, go send me an email, send me a message, come check out the website. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, of course, hit the subscribe button if you want to know when new videos come out. Um, until then, I hope that you have a good time trying to find something fun that will get your body moving.